This is my metalworking workbench and it's always really messy. Now maybe this is because I'm a slob, but it could also be that it just isn't big enough. So I want to build another one to go right next to it. And I want to make this one not with wheels on it, but somehow make it so I can just slide a dolly underneath it to move it. Now this other one is going to be a similar overall design, but the legs are going to extend down to the floor because there's no built-in wheels, and that means I need a box joint that isn't at the end of the piece of wood. As usual, I plane the millimeter off the 2x4s to make them smoother. I cut the other half of this joint with my Screw Advance box joint jig. There's two of these frames and you need to join front to back with some pieces and I also need to put a vertical thing right here. I'm using my horizontal boring machine to cut mortises for floating pennies. And now I get to assemble the whole puzzle for the first time. Well, that was good to do a dry fit because it turns out my floating tenons are just a little bit too long. I shortened those floating tenons a little bit and now it's time to glue it up. I have to make sure all the tenants will mate with the other frame before the glue dries. And now putting that other frame on with glue. I clamped it to the workbench to make sure there wasn't any twist in it while the glue dried. If I didn't do that, it would stay twisted forever. This is rather questionable plywood, so I'm changing to a cheap blade for cutting it on the table saw.
And as usual, I put two coats of varathane on with a little bit of light sanding in between. The uh, downside of making a workbench this stiff is that it just won't conform to the floor even if I'm sitting on it. I cut the joints for these L brackets using my Screw Advanced Box Joint Jig. Those brackets will be the lifting mechanism. Let's load this workbench up with some heavy stuff. It's finally loaded up enough to conform to the floor. And this is where the clever part comes in. Well, that's looking a little bit better now. I was gonna put a vertical thing down here, but I kinda like how it looks without, so I'll leave that out. But I will probably add a couple of drawers along the top, sort of like I've got here. <laughs> 